I had a great time at the Devon House Craft Fair that was a week before Christmas. I met a lot of amazing artists such as Paula Renee. She's a mother just like myself and she's been wanting to create for quite some time. So I'm happy that she's finally getting her pieces out. You can feel the love she has for her children in all of her pieces. It was nice to see Nassine again. I love her photography, including that picture of the Poinciano that you just saw. Her images depict a vivid picture of life in Jamaica and in the Caribbean. Paul Blackwood is a returning resident to Jamaica. His work depicts everything that he loves about Jamaica. Sometimes it's about the scenery, sometimes it's about the music, and sometimes it's just about life here in Jamaica. I'm sorry that I didn't get this young lady's name. I was rushing to get to everyone's boots because I had arrived quite late, but I really love her acrylic point pieces here. This is my cousin Suzanne de Cambry, big up to Sansa's art. She has some really nice garden pieces that she puts together from recycled materials. I also saw Peter Pert at the last fair, which is the Jamaican Potters Association fair but it was nice to see some more pieces of his. The booth he had the last time was a bit smaller, so I got to see more of his pieces. I love that he's a one-stop shop, jewelry, paintings, light switches, you name it, right here. I didn't get the name of the artist of those carvings, but I love them. But this is Damon Cunningham. I also saw him at the last fair, the Jamaican Potters Association craft fair. I love his use of imagery here. You can get a sense of the humor and culture that you can find here in Jamaica. Contact information will also be in the description. Winston Clark was sharing a booth with him, and these are his pieces. He has smaller pieces. Richard Clark is a young portrait artist. As you can see here, he's doing one of his commissions in the video. His work is quite good. I also saw Lennox Coke at the last fair, so it was nice to spend a bit more time with him and to speak with him more about the inspiration for his pieces, including this one. to see Melissa Pretty again, Aviola underscore accessories. She will be keeping me up to date on the coming craft fairs so that we can get more coverage of artists such as Melissa. I wasn't aware that she also made bags, so I was pleasantly surprised. I purchased a lovely pair of earrings for myself and for my mother.
This was a welcome sight to see because I haven't run into many potters since coming back to Jamaica. So it was really nice to see these pieces right here. And what caught my eye was this mask right here. The cracks on that mask are intentional, so it's very interesting to see that type of technique. I will be doing more videos like this in the future supporting Jamaican artists, so I hope you stay tuned for more.